previous lesson, we saw that we could reference a movie clip from the main timeline and reference its timeline by referring to the movie clip by its instance name and then a period and then what we want that movie clip to do. I want to demonstrate that we can have movie clips inside of movie clips. In fact, we can go several levels deep. A movie clip inside a movie clip inside a movie clip inside a movie clip. And we can reference those timelines simply by, by referencing the string of movie clips, starting with the parent movie clip and then going down each subsequent level till we get to the final movie clip we want to reference. Here I just have two. And so I have a movie clip named Ball MC. And let's say that ball has a has some facial features on it that are controlled by another movie clip. And so I would reference that timeline of the face MC movie clip from the main timeline by referencing ball underscore MC, that's our first movie clip, dot face underscore MC, that's the embedded movie clip inside of the ball one, dot, and then I have a go to and play uh, a label, a frame labeled smile. Now here's an example of that. I have a movie clip of this robot, and it consists of other movie clips that comprise it. So the head is a movie clip, the eyes are a movie clip inside of that, as is the mouth. And then we have arms that are movie clips. And I can interact with buttons here on the main timeline to have the robot look left, look right, look straight ahead, look up, or down. I can also tilt the head to the left tilt the head to the right, bring the head back up. We can open the mouth, and while the mouth is open, we can tilt the head and close the mouth. We can lift the left arm and lower the left arm. Lift the right arm, lower the right arm. And that animation needs a little bit of work, but you get the idea. So let's look at the code. In the main scene, what I have are my buttons, which are just transparent buttons over top text. And then my robot is a movie clip. It is named Robbie. And Robbie, I'm going to throw down into him by double clicking on him, is made up of some other movie clips. So here's a movie clip called head underscore MC. Inside that movie clip is a movie clip of I right underscore MC and I left underscore MC, which are simply two instances of the same movie clip. There's also a movie clip here called mouth underscore MC. So you can see I'm looking at the MC head, which is inside MC robot, which is on scene one. And that MC head contains three different movie clips. I'm going to go back to scene one. So when I'm clicking look left, actually let me furrow back down into the eye. Let's look at the, at the timeline for this movie clip of MCI. So in MCI, I have five frames. This one is labeled look ahead. This one is labeled look left, look right, look up, and look down. So it's just the five different positions of the eyes. So I'm going to go back to scene one and let's look at the code for this look left button. I'm going to go into actions and here is my event listener for the look left button underscore btn dot add event listener mouse event dot click and I'm calling a function called look left. Here then is my function or look left. And I still have two lines of code. The first one is looking at my movie clip named Robbie, referencing the head underscore MC, the dot notation, and then dot I left underscore MC, and its timeline has a label called look left that we saw, and it's going to go to that label and stop. And I do the same thing for the I right underscore MC instance of that. MCI. That's all there is to it. When I want to look back ahead, there's that look ahead button, and I'm simply going to the look ahead label of the timeline for that embedded movie clip of MCI, each of the two instances. And do the same thing for 
all of the different look positions, right, up, down. And then for the head, the head has a frame called head up. It has a frame labeled tilt left and one labeled tilt right. The mouth has a frame for open and a frame for close. Now those could be animations where we see the mouth opening over a period of several frames, in which case, such as the mouth here, I want to go to and play that animation. Same with the arm. We want to go to and play an animation that may take several frames of either raising the arm or lowering the arm. And that is how we can reference movie clips inside of movie clips.